Hello, welcome to problem of the day number 20. I changed some numbers, so let's get started. Kyle has two quarters and nine pennies. How much money does Kyle have in all? The first thing I wanna do is identify that quarters are worth 25 cents each and pennies are worth one cent each. So this is gonna be two steps. Step one is I'm going to figure out how much money Kyle has in quarters first. So if one quarter is 25 cents, he has two. So I'm going to add 25 cents to 25 cents. One quarter, two quarters. And I'm gonna do it just like addition. The reason that I use the zero and this little decimal is because that's what puts it into the right place value for money. So starting over here, I have five plus five and that's 10. So my zero goes down here and I regroup that one. Then I can move over and do two plus two is four plus one more is five. And I need to keep that decimal and that zero because it's 50 cents. If I left these two off, it would be 50 and that's not quite right, even though the numbers are. Next, I'm gonna figure out how much money he has in pennies. And I may not need to do an addition problem for this because if a penny is worth one cent and he has nine, he has nine of one each, which is just nine. If you just count by ones, each one is worth a cent to nine. So I'm gonna just go ahead and know that he has nine cents in pennies. But he want, we wanna know how much he has in all, including this 50 cents from the two quarters. So we're gonna add the nine on. So I'm gonna do plus, it's zero dollars and nine cents. And I'm gonna bring my answer over here. So looking at this first column, nine plus zero is nine. My second column, five plus zero is five. And that decimal is still very important. I can write it like the way I just did, which is the decimal and then the five and the nine, or I can do zero decimal five, nine. Both of those would be correct. However, your numbers are a little different. He actually only has two quarters and he has 11 pennies.